Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis. Uh, please pay attention to the following lesson. And to the goals of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, we'll, have, uh, we'll be able to state and explain the reactivity in alkaline earth metals, explain how they react with uh, air, that is how they burn, how they react with water, steam, and how they react with dilute acids and we'll also be able to look at some of the uses of these alkaline earth metals. So, uh, alkaline earth metals, how do they burn? How do they react in air? Magnesium burns uh, with a bright, brilliant frame as shown from the diagram. Calcium burns with a yellow frame and this, since they are oxidation reaction, basically they combine with oxygen, which is the active part of the atmosphere, giving us oxides of the respective metals. So for instance, magnesium will react with oxygen to give us magnesium oxide. If we use any other metal of alkaline other metal, since they come from the same chemical family, they have similar chemical properties and therefore they will form their oxides of the metals. Therefore, calcium gives us calcium oxide, beryllium gives us uh, beryllium oxide, etc. And how do they react with water? Magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water, forming a solution of magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The reactivity of alkaline earth metal with water varies since metals themselves have got different reactivity uh, from or with reference to the reactivity series you realize that magnesium and calcium are not a higher they are not higher in the reactivity ser uh, series and that's why the reactivity with metal also is slow but if we react them with steam uh, you realize that now steam itself the particles have got energy and since the particles have increased energy, this increases the rate of the reaction and hence reaction with steam uh, takes place at a faster rate. Now looking at the setup that we have here, uh, you can see we have a boiling tube in which we have magnesium ribbon and at the far end we have moist uh, iron, uh, that is mineral wool, for instance we can use a uh, uh, a wool which is soaked in water basically we need to heat the wool first and once we heat the wool it liberates steam which later when we heat magnesium it combines giving us magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas so first we heat the wool then we heat the ribbon and this gives us magnesium uh, oxide and hydrogen gas the reaction is however very fast according to the equation you can see we have magnesium plus water in gaseous state therefore steam giving us magnesium uh, oxide solid state and hydrogen gas now let's look at the following illustration So, so now, now since, since from, from that, that illustration we can now tell how magnesium burns in air. How do these alkaline earth metals react with dilute acids? We can follow the following equations to be able to understand. Beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium and barium will react with dilute hydrochloric acid giving us the respective chlorides plus hydrogen gas as shown from the chemical equation so in general they react with acids forming the respective salt in this case we have used hydrochloric acid but if we use uh, for instance sulfuric acid we will form a sulfate salt plus hydrogen gas uh, what are some of the uses of these alkaline earth metals the likes of calcium magnesium strontium and barium 
So fireworks get their color from alkaline earth metals, for instance, strontium, which is red, magnesium, which is white, and barium, which is green, etc. Magnesium is used in airplanes, radars, and uh, etc. Uh, chlorophyll contains magnesium, and we understand that uh, we, are, we, all, uh, we are heterotrophs, and therefore we depend uh, plants to manufacture food and the plants then require uh, chlorophyll for them to manufacture food calcium is found in marble and necessary for strong uh, bones it is required by the human body to strengthen the bones and barium is used in medical procedures uh, in various medical procedures so you can see that these metals are very very important in our day-to-day -day life activity so for more uh, uh, let's first look at the test to see whether we have achieved the goals of this lesson question one explain why magnesium service has to be scratched before it is used in an experiment write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction that occurs when calcium uh, reacts with water and magnesium reacts with dilute nitric acid and state the reason why the reactivity of alkaline earth metals varies down the group. Refer to the Secondary Chemistry Students Book 1 or for more information you can give us a text through the number on your screen or you can visit our YouTube or Facebook at Erimu TV or you give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. So once again, your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, be tuned, uh, stay, stay tuned for more lessons to come.